Welcome to Mother Our Projects. I'm Steph. I'm Vicki. And today we're at my house and we're sharing my half bath makeover. Now a half bath, or could be called a guest bath or a powder room, is nothing more than a bathroom without a shower or a tub. Every good makeover needs an inspiration piece. So we use this piece of artwork and we've had this for probably 20 years. We got it at a yard sale years ago. We've always just loved the look of it. So it was the perfect inspiration for this makeover. We had a lot of colors we could work with because of the picture. And what we ended up doing for the walls is using the same guest bathroom paint from my house here. And then the cabinet color is actually the paint that's in my bathroom. So we were able to reuse the paint and didn't have to spend any extra money there. We also already had the circle mirror that we could use on this project. And then in the cabinets, we use a vinyl floor planking on the bottom and that is extra flooring for my house. So this is gonna be a pretty inexpensive and easy bathroom makeover. So come join us. The main focus in this bathroom makeover is the cabinet. We're gonna take off these two front doors for an open cabinet design. We easily remove the hinges and even though we're not gonna keep these, we did keep the hardware just in case we need it at some point. We also removed the side cabinet doors as they're gonna get a fresh coat of paint. This cabinet has been painted numerous times and was in need of a good sanding and stripping of the old paint. Here, mom is sanding the cabinet and I'm collecting the sawdust with a wet dry vac. After looking at the inside of the cabinet, we realized the wood was in rough shape and not substantial enough to hold a shelf. So we're cutting two pieces of half inch plywood to support the shelf. In the cabinet, there's a little notch at the top and bottom, so we use our contour gauge jig to trace out the cut on the wood. Then I use a multi-tool to cut out the notch. Next, we put them in place and clamp them while we figured out where we wanted to place the shelf. This is 3 4 inch plywood, and all the wood we're using here is just scrap wood that we've had in our workshop. To hold the shelf up, we're not going to permanently attach it as we need to be able to remove this if we need to work on the plumbing. So here we're just brad nailing one by twos in place and the shelf will sit on top of those. Perfect fit. To make the edge of the shelf look more finished, we iron on wood veneer. The wood on the sides is a little rough, so mom's using wood fill to help smooth it out. Next, mom prime the sides. To cover the plumbing in the open cabinet, I'm making a simple three-sided box to just slide in front. Mom again primed that, then painted everything with the vanity paint. Speaking of paint, mom painted all the walls of the bathroom. Next, mom turned off the power at the junction box so I could remove the old fixture. I removed the fixture and the mounting plate. To our surprise, the original wallpaper was still behind there. And a weird fact about mom is she loves to remove wallpaper, so she jumped at the opportunity to take this down. She thoroughly wet it and scraped it off. Then mom finished painting the wall. I started by drilling pilot holes for the anchors, placed the anchors, then screwed in the mounting plate. I attached the wires using WAGO connectors, which just snap into place. Then I secured the fixture to the mounting plate. With the power back on, it works. Next, we put the sides in place. I brad nailed them to the existing cabinet sides. This seems sufficient as the shelf should also help hold the walls in place. Next, we use a laser measure to measure the length of the bottom and then cut vinyl planking to size and place them in the cabinet floor. This can easily be cut with scissors, utility knife, or tin snips. We didn't attach them yet as mom was first gonna paint the cabinet itself. She started by priming, then painted the final color. With that dry, we used T-Rex super glue tape to hold down the vinyl plank. This was a simple process, and we also did the floors on the two side cabinets.
Then we placed our shelf and plumbing cover. We put the drawers back in and added the hinges back into the side doors. Then we added the doors in place. Lastly, we added some new hardware that has a cool bubble look. And some final touches were to add two hooks to hold various bathroom items that guests might need. These attach to the wall using molly bolts, which you first tap into place, then drive the screw, which then pops open the anchor and secures it to the drywall. Then I removed each screw and screwed in the mounting plate. The hook secures in place with a tiny Allen wrench. This isn't going anywhere. To enhance the lighting in the bathroom, we added a circle mirror above the back shelves. We used mirror hanging hardware to accomplish this, which uses anchors and clips to secure the mirror in place. Lastly, we added a hook for the inspiration piece and got it hung on the wall. And it's all done! Come take a look! Right above the toilet, we added two faux Live Edge shelves. We also bought a new trash can and toilet brush. We bought a new bathroom rug and also replaced the sink faucet. Here's a look at the new light fixture that we purchased from Costco, and another look at the open cabinet that we created. Another nice thing to have near all water sources in your house is a leak detector. This one is called Flow by Moen, and if there's a leak detected, they make an audible alarm and we get a notice on our phones. And that is the half bath makeover. What well, we learned. We went into this bathroom makeover with two ideas in mind. One is we want to do live edge shelves. The other we wanted to base everything off of this artwork that we had in here. Well, we didn't realize it, but we had sort of a theme going on. In that picture, you see some bubbles and the light fixture that we have, which actually I bought probably over a year ago it's been around for a while also has bubbles so to round out that bubble theme we found these really really cool knobs that also have bubbles so we've got this fun little subtle bubble theme going on which is perfect for a bathroom makeover now if you really look at the light fix you'll notice it's a little off center and uh, yes i did notice so i put we all noticed <laughs> i put up the fixture and i realized that and I so I took it down because I wanted to see if I could actually move the um, the electrical work over just a little bit but I, what I realized is there was a pipe right down the middle of the wall where I couldn't actually easily move the light fixture so yes it bothers me but stop looking at it <laughs> stop looking at it. it's gonna be fine it'll be okay now we wanted to make this bathroom a, really accessible for guests either overnight guests or people just use it um, when I have company over and that's one of the reasons why we took the cabinet doors off to actually modernize it a bit and to also be able to tell our guests that there are towels there that they can get what they need right there so, and that's also the reason why the toilet paper and the tissues are also out in plain sight. So if they need those things, they don't have to ask. They know where to look and they can just help themselves. There's also some feminine products in the drawers. There's extra toothbrushes, toothpicks, and there's also some towels. So we wanted everything to be accessible to set my guest up for success. Yes. And if you're wondering why we didn't talk about the live edge shelves or the mirror shelf, it's because we did that all in a separate video that I will put a link to. And also this door right here is a barn door that we shared in a while back video. Uh, so we'll put a link to that as well. So thanks for joining us. And if you want to see more projects from us, be sure to visit us at motherdaughterprojects.com and subscribe right here on YouTube. Click the bell and be alerted to all our new projects. All right, thanks. We'll see you Bye. next time. Do you need some privacy now? Yes, please. Thank you.